please say a command. Find the tallest bridge. Where would you like to search? Please say nearby or in a city. Nearby. Hi guys, welcome back. It's me, Travis. If you saw what happened in the Bitcoin market for the past couple days, you're probably feeling exactly like the beginning of this video. Fear not though, this is just a minor setback. This happened just not, you know, a couple months ago, so no big deal. So back on December 11th is when I first initially uh, started running my Antminer S9. And I wanted to check in a month later just to show you guys my profits and what I actually brought in. Because I know on websites that predict profit um, are just that a prediction. So I want to give you actually what's real, what's happening, what I'm actually getting on a day-to-day -day basis. One caveat to all this is that all of my mining efforts um, are not specifically on one pool. Uh, for a short period, I want to say it was like a week, I was on Ant Pool. Then I switched over uh, to Slush Pool. And then for a few days, I mined a little bit of Bit Bitcoin Cash uh, just to kind of benchmark it across the others uh, to see what the profit differences are. Um, and then the remainder of the time I'm on slush pool. So I'd say about three of the four weeks um, of the data that I'm going to be showing you is strictly uh, slush pool. So here I'm showing you uh, my miners uh, config page. This is just my web interface uh, to show you that on average it gets about 14.3 terahashes per second. Um, and the overall health and wealth of it. Uh, the temperature on all the chips are within the nominal range, 68 degrees about. Uh, and that's a Celsius, uh, Celsius calculation. Once it starts dipping into the 80s, that's going to be a problem. Right now, the fans are running um, only about half speed right now. I think they get up to about 8,000 or so uh, RPM, and by then it gets super loud. So uh, I built a temporary box that it's in, which I showed in a previous video, and I'll show it again now. Good morning to you. And that was like a cheap... $10 solution. So uh, it's just a, a, a bin from I think Walmart or something like that Christmas colors I uh, had some a foam from a mattress uh, topper uh, that I cut up and used kind of as a sound insulation and then I used six to, six inch insulated ducting uh, For the bend in the pipe the bend is the important part um, And that helps cancel out a lot of noise. So anyway, that's pretty much it for the health and wealth of the unit itself um, one other thing that you'll note there is I have my top three uh, mining pools are um, slush pool first. Uh, the failover behind that is going to be um, a Bitcoin cash stratum and then behind that have the ant pool stratum. So this page here, this is actually uh, my slush pool login page um, or the homepage dashboard. Uh, right now it says my scoring hash rate is 15 terahashes. That fluctuates a lot. On average, it's you know about 14 and a half, 14.3, um, as my config page showed you. So uh, the other thing to keep in mind that, that this data that it's showing right here is through the 17th. So it's not going to be exactly one month. It's a little bit over. Um, but once we get over to my wallet on Coinbase, I'll show you uh, what actually the, the income was for that period of time. Jumping over to here, we have the payout threshold uh, portion. And with Slush Pool, they charge you a fee if you try to withdraw anything less than 0 0.01 uh, Bitcoin. So I make the payout trigger at 0 0.01, so that way I don't have to pay any fees. And for that interval, it's saying it's just under five days it takes to generate that amount of Bitcoin in order to receive the payout. So right now, since uh, the value of Bitcoin is down quite a bit from where it was, it's sitting right around, where is it? Just over $11,000. Um, the daily payouts are in the mid 20s, so 22 to 28, maybe $30 um, a day is about average from what I'm seeing. Um, back when it was a bit higher, we were closer to about $40 a day, which was nice. Um, and I know that this is normal, this is going to fluctuate. Try not to freak out about it, although it's a little bit shocking to see. Another thing to take notice is the uh, pool scoring hash rate. I think when I first started, if I remember correctly, the pool hash rate was about 1.4. Um, and right now it's at almost 2, which is a crazy increase uh, for the pool. And I've seen it fluctuate quite a bit, especially over this past week. Um, so I'm curious to see what it's going to be doing and how that's going to affect uh, the daily reward. So this is our Bitcoin wallet. Um, this is the one on Coinbase. 
Now, uh, I know it's more secure to have it on a hardware wallet or an offline wallet. That's fine and everything, but this isn't a huge amount of money. Uh, we do have a hardware wallet. We just haven't transferred anything over yet because once it becomes significant, then we will. Um, so a two date, and this is these are deposits up through the 12th I just checked. Uh, so the most recent one um, is going to be coming through shortly for another 0 0.01 uh, Bitcoin. Um, so yeah, I mean, obviously the, the balances are suppressed because the value of Bitcoin is so suppressed. But right now, even at the lowered rate, the, the total income over that first month is about $856. Now, if we were talking about Bitcoin value being back in the $15,000, $16,000 range, um, the balance of this wallet would be somewhere around the $1,100 to $1,200 range. So it's not that bad. I know in my previous video I talked about um, the diminishing returns as far as how much is mined and how long it takes to uh, to mine with the Antminer S9. And I had some concerns there and I still do. Um, however, this is still very early in that stage. Um, the most telling thing is going to be the coming months. Um, you know, the second month, third month fourth month especially to see what those revenue figures are going to be like. So going back to slush pool, uh, the dashboard there, um, the key metric that we're looking for, because um, we can't count on uh, dollars per day because the value of Bitcoin fluctuates so much that that's not going to be a, a relevant benchmark. We have to look at actual Bitcoin produced per day. Um, so to hit the payout of 0 0.01 Bitcoin, it's predicting um, some something under a little under five days. Um, and that's fairly true for pretty much the whole month from when I started running it. I think it was um, just under four days when I first started. So we'll see how much that decreases over time. So I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, so that's it for today. If you guys have questions, comments, or concerns, uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments below and we can have a healthy discussion about it. Um, if anyone else has successes with other mining pools, uh, let me know about it. Let me know what you what kind of payouts that you get with it and what kind of performance you get with your S9. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day um, and I'll see you in the next video.